Shalom, Yasha'Allah, is brother Mapathak, right? Um, that'd be key, but in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And this is going to be a super quick video, right? Just a reminder for my brothers and sisters out there, right? That the overall message, right? The overall message is repentance, right? And chiefly, right? I want to say chiefly because you're not going to only be teaching on the highways and byways, but chiefly when you're on the highways and byways, right? And you're dealing with a brother or a sister, right? You have to remember that the overall message is repentance, right? Because I see this a lot, right? I watch a lot of videos where a lot of times, Brothers is just out there kind of just what they say in the road, just kicking it, right? Or what they say in the road, just kind of just talking shit, man, right? Just to make it plain. I'm trying to use um, vulgar language, but hey, a lot of times brothers just out there just kind of just talking shit, man. Just just like just kicking it, man, right? And a lot of times I would see when um, brothers or sisters would walk up and um, they're interested to know what's going on. Who are these brothers out here with Bibles in their hand? A lot of times brothers are just be out there um, professing their own knowledge. You understand? They go into a bunch of different precepts and a bunch of different things that they want to talk about. But the Most High God and Yahweh Shai said, the message is to teach our people to repent for the kingdom of the Most High God is at hand, right? To repent or they're going to be put to death. Repent or they're going to perish, right? So if a brother or sister comes up and tries to get the word and you done taught them about the Passover, you done taught them about fringes, you don't tell them about the Feast of Tabernacles and all these different things that they have literally no understanding thereof, right? They have no understanding of these things. And they walk away and you never taught that brother or sister to repent. It's kind of like vanity. And I don't want to say it's all vain because they learned some scriptures, I guess. But it becomes vanity because they never got the overall message. They never was, they never was taught that they had to repent. Right. And before I, I kind of just start getting into there, uh, getting in there a little too much, I want to give all praise and honor and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's all praise to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh, and the name of his only begotten son, who the world will ignorantly call Jesus Christ. But we know him as Yahweh Shai, the righteous. Right. Yahweh Shai in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. Right. And um, let's bring up the scripture. So this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter 16 and verse 67. So just to show what exactly repentance is. Right. Because the Christian church, they would say repentance is just saying sorry lord getting baptized in some damn dirty so-called holy water right and they're just going back and doing whatever wickedness that you were involved in but that's not true repentance right um so this is the book of second address of the 16 and verse 67 and it reads behold the most high himself is the judge fear him leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever so that's how you repent you leave off from your sins right and you forget your iniquities Right. And you meddle no more with them forever. That's true repentance. It says, so shall the most high lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. And then when you repent, the most high God is going to guide you from thence. The most high God is going to allow his spirit to, um, to dwell within you. Right. When you repent and turn from your wicked ways, you understand, because the spirit of wisdom, right, the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in the, um, a wicked vessel, an unclean vessel. So you have to repent first and be cleansed through the, um, through the um, spirit of power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right. And this is the message. This is the message. Right. This is how you get the blood off of your hands. Right. Brothers shouldn't just be going into breakdowns about revelations. And don't get me wrong. Right. You might have a brother or sister that comes up and asks different questions. What is this talking about in the Bible? Oh, do you know the understanding of this? Hey, and you have to answer those questions. But the point is, remember the overall message is repentance. If that brother or sister walks off and you never taught that brother or sister how to repent, you went off. Just That's just plain. You went into everything in the Bible and you never went into the overall message, which is repent, right? Which is to tell them to repent or die, man. Repent or they're going to perish, man, right? You didn't get the blood off your hands. You understand? For example, right? You got a brother walk, kind of walking in the middle of the street. He don't see this bus coming. And you telling him everything, you telling him everything, but except that bus is coming, right? And that he had to get out of the way of that bus, right? You kind of go in, you kind of tell him, hey, whatever it may be, you're talking to the brother about a bunch of things. You're yelling at him, hey, brother, you seen that football game yesterday? The, the bus still on the way down the street about to hit him. Hey, brother, you see, you talked to that, that one sister yesterday, right? But you never told that brother, hey, watch out, the bus is coming. That's kind of how it is when you damn teaching somebody and you taught them everything but how to repent. And that they had to repent. It becomes vanity. You understand? Let's go to Matthew 4. Right? 
This is Matthew 4 and verse 16. And it reads, The people which sat in darkness saw a great light. And to them which sat in the region in shadow of death, light is sprung up. And that light is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai also being the word. Right? It says, From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach. Now, I see what Yahweh Shai was preaching when he was walking the earth. Right? It says, For that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So that's what we're supposed to be teaching. That's the over. That's the overall message is to teach the so-called blacks, Native Americans and Hispanics, right? The biblical Israelites to repent and to turn back and to seek the most high God's face. That's the overall message, right? That we can now repent through the blood of Yahweh Shai and come back into the covenant and keep the commandments, right? If you're not teaching people to repent, then you're just out there. You're out there in the wrong spirit. I'm just saying it like that, right? Let's go to Mark. You damn teaching them about the Passover, right? You're talking about the Passover and they have no clue what you're talking about. They never heard the word Passover in their life. You're talking about the Feast of Tabernacles. They have no clue what you're talking about. You're talking about Zerubbabel. They have no clue what you're talking about, but you never taught them how to repent, man. You went off. Um, so this is the book of Mark, chapter 1 and verse 15. And it reads, I'm going to start from 14, right? It says, now after that, John was put in prison. Yahweh Shai came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of the Most High and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of the Most High is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. This is Yahweh Shai once again. What was he teaching? He was teaching Israel to repent and believe the gospel because that's the overall message. That's what Yahweh Shai was teaching. That's what the apostles was teaching. And that's what we're supposed to be teaching. Right. Don't forget what you're what you're out there on the highways and byways for. The overall message is to bid people to the um, marriage. Right. To bid people into the um, the marriage of Yahweh Shai. Right. And how are they going to have that white garment and be prepared for that wedding? It's through repentance. That's how you clean off the stains off of your garments and, 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 and prepare before Yahweh Shai with that um, beautiful white garment. It's through repentance, man. Right? Just, just teaching somebody how to stop eating pork and to wear fringes without re telling that brother to repent. It's, it's, it becomes, um, it's kind of, it's just, I don't, I don't like to say vanity because... Anytime you teach the words of God, I would never call that vanity. They, they learn, they learn two scriptures. Good. But you never, you never really say you, you can't really, he's, he's not going to be saved except he repents. So it's like, you can wear those fringes and still be a nigga at hurt. You can stop being important and still be a wicked nigga at hurt, man. But when you repent and leave off from your iniquities, that's how you're going to be saved. You understand? So you got to remember what the overall message is. The overall message is repentance, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to keep reiterating that point. Right. And it's something I've been meditating on. Right. Is, is, is that you have to teach our people to repent. Right. And um, I'm going to one more precept. Right. This wasn't supposed to be a quick video. Just a quick reminder. Right. To remember what this thing is about. What you're supposed to be teaching the next brother and the next sister. man. Right. So this is the book of Luke, chapter 13 and verse three. And it reads, um, I tell you, nay, but except you repent. Ye shall all likewise perish. This is all Yahweh Shai, right? These, these, these were all Yahweh Shai. These last three scriptures I read about what Yahweh there oh, Salaki about repentance is is what Yahweh Shai was teaching when he was walking the earth, teaching people to repent. Right? I'm gonna read that again. It's one of my favorite precepts to pull in the highways and byways. Luke 13 and verse three, and it reads, "I tell ye nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish." And that's his plain, man. That's the because that's the message. That's what, what, what was being taught. And that's what's supposed to be being taught is to repent or die. Repent or you're going to eat a missile. Repent or you're going to be destroyed when Yahweh Shai returns. Repent or you're going to die in nuclear fire, man. That's the overall message, man. Right? It's to teach people to repent. You understand? And that's how you get the blood off of your hands. Right? If you be like, okay, I got the blood off my hands, man. Right? I taught that brother he got to repent. If he don't do it, that's on him. But if you just taught the brother about, you just broke down the whole book of Joshua to him and you never taught him how to repent, you didn't get the blood off your hands, man. Right? And with that, Lord willing, brothers and sisters got the understanding thereof. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High God, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? And Shalom, Yasha Allah.